My name is Katie, I'm 29 years old, and you're about to witness me have a wine bottle, choose my makeup. Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie, and if you are not new, then welcome back. Obviously, by the title of this video, you know that I've completely gone off the deep end. Thank you so much for tuning in. This idea was actually given to me by a subscriber of mine a very long time ago, and I've been saving it for this specific video. <clears throat> Tyra Wilson, three months ago, wrote, you should do a wine bottle choosing my makeup and spin the bottle to choose what product you apply. And I thought that that was genius. A company actually reached out to me and wanted to sponsor this video. So before we get into all that, I just wanted to once again give a big thank you to Tyra Wilson for your brilliant idea. And if you would like to see a wine bottle choose my makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so before we get into the spinning of the bottle, I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Bright Sellers. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. When they reached out to me and let me know that they wanted to do a partnership I was so excited a wine brand wanting to sponsor me. Are you kidding? So Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a creature of habit and I like what I like. I know I like Riesling, I don't really stray off from that. Other than like an occasional Sauvignon Blanc, I kind of just stick to Riesling. Bright Cellars is really cool because you go onto the website and you take a super simple seven question quiz and basically what that does is it gathers all your taste preferences and they will ship you wines that you are guaranteed to enjoy. The wine bottles that you're going to receive are sourced from all over the world and they are specific curated to your palate. If for whatever reason you get your subscription box and you don't like a bottle of wine, all you have to do is contact their concierge team and their amazing customer service will actually send you a replacement bottle in your very next shipment. These wines are shipped directly to your home or your office, wherever your preference is, which is amazing because that saves you a trip to the liquor store, the grocery store, and obviously a lot of us can't leave our homes right now, so it's Pretty perfect. I actually just received this month's box in the mail and I wanted to open it on camera for you guys. So, let's open this bad boy up. So the first bottle is the 2018 Well Fleet Chardonnay. And then the second bottle is a 2018 Lake County Boutique Viognier. I don't even know what this is. See, that's the cool part about this is I've never heard of this. You can go to your little notes and this is the card that corresponds with the bottle and it lets you know that it has notes of orange, peach, guava, rose, ooh. It says that once again, it's a new world wine from California. It pairs well with Hobarty cheese, spaghetti carbonara, sunsets on the deck, wow. So the next one is a Gladiolus Biogenier. I, I swear I'm butchering this name. I've never heard of this wine, okay? So on the bottom, we have a 2018 white wine, Central Coast Sprig and Rosé. Hmm. Next, we have a Cactus Park Cabernet Sauvignon Rosé. Ooh, this looks really good. I'm excited to try this one. And then lastly, we have an Avast Chardonnay. So when I did my quiz, I said that I only like white, so that's what they're going to primarily send me, but I did pick that you could send me like a little, you know, surprise every once in a while. So if you guys wanna try Bright Sellers, all you have to do is click the link in the description box and it'll take you to their website where you can start filling out your seven question quiz and you will get 50% off your first six bottle box. All right, let's get this party started. You knew that I was gonna test this out for you guys while I was filming, right? It's for science. So here we have the Cactus Park Cabernet Sauvignon Rosé. And I'm really excited to try this wine because I am not really a rosé drinker. Mikey's actually a rosé drinker. It's her fave. So the notes for this one is strawberry, watermelon, lemon, and rose. The most important part is how does it taste? Oh, such a glorious sound. Now, I, of course, want to remind you guys to, you know, drink responsibly, okay? Don't go overboard. Just drink very, very responsibly. Wow. Wow. Where shall we begin? I actually have a tinted moisturizer on. So I'm just going to wipe this off and we can get started. I'm going to moisturize really quickly and for this I'm going to use the Olay Regenerist Moisturizer. Complete side note, God hates me, I'm not sure why, I don't know what I did to you, but my air conditioner 
has actually broken upstairs. So I've been like living downstairs. I'm just starting to get hot and I have this hoodie on for whatever reason. Okay, a little step to cool me off. God, that's really good. Okay, primer. Okay, you guys, I made this completely intricate pie chart situation. I did not draw on my floors, by the way. This is tape, and I drew on the tape. For this category, we have the Kevin Aquan Prime Skin Developer, the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow. We have the Cover Effects Blurring Primer, the Demonic Hangover RX in the Messed Up Packaging, and then we have the Elf Hydrating Primer. Alrighty. So for primer, the wine bottle chose the Kevin Aquan, the Primed Skin Developer, and I've actually never used this primer before. I'm just gonna take a couple squirts. I don't think this is a blurring primer of any sorts, which are really the kinds of primers that I need, but it feels really nice. I'm just gonna make sure, you know, I have a sip between each product, just, um, Once again, for science. So for foundation, we have the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. We have the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. We have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and then we have the Graftobian Foundation Palette. No! Oh my God. So for foundation, we're going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This product is made for models, okay? Like models with perfect skin and no freaking blemishes and people that don't pick their faces relentlessly. I'm not really a tinted moisturizer kind of girl. I mean, even though I did have a tinted moisturizer on earlier, which kind of contradicts everything they just said to you, but it's because I filmed a video with Trevor earlier. If you haven't seen that video, I filmed a video with Trevor, like a not so newlywed game because we're not married, but you know, anyway. If you have really nice skin, I promise you, this is actually like a really nice product to kind of even things out. I just wish there was a little a little more coverage. So, For concealer, we have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. We have the Graftobian Palette one more time because you can actually use that for concealer. We have the Tarte Shape Tape. We have the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, which I'm not really a big fan of, but whatever. And then we have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. <gasps> Perfect! The one I hated. My lovely sabotaging wine bottle chose the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I don't hate this concealer, but then again, I do. It's just so sticky. It's a very, very, extremely sticky and thick consistency. It's not the worst thing ever, but there are just better options, you know? Let's apply this concealer. Hey, 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 quiet on set, please. What are we doing? Quiet on set. I'm downstairs. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you. I'm not even paying attention. I literally just applied way too much. But it's okay because this freaking foundation has no coverage. So I guess I'm just going to cheat and put on way more than I typically would. But mind you, if you are using this concealer for whatever reason, if you want to go pick it up after I just sold you on it, you need like one dot. That's it. It does look nice. It's almost like if you landed a really hot guy that had no idea what he was doing in the bedroom. Looks nice, but doesn't feel great. Moving right along to what's next? Oh, setting powder. We have the Cody Airspun. We have the Morphe Banana Setting Powder. We have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. The Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder. And then, last but not least, we have the KKW Translucent Setting Powder. And I think this is, yeah, shade one. So basically, that could ruin my life. This is way too dark for me. Whatever, I don't want to say anything else because whatever ones I say hate is what it lands on. So we're just going to spin. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh god, it's so good. So for setting powder, our wine bottle picked the 
KKW Beauty Translucent Setting Powder in the shade number one. I'm going to take the side of the Real Technique sponge that I did not use for my liquid products and I'm going to dip this in to the powder and set my under eye. I actually like this powder. I don't really use it because I really love the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Even though it's drugstore and it's like $6, I swear to you it's better. But this is a really nice powder and it's finely milled and it doesn't flash back and it does all the things. I'm going to take this side and gently set the rest of my face. Alright, what should we do next? Um, let's do brows. <sighs> Okay, this one could really ruin my life. So for brows, we have the Maybelline Ultra Slim Pencil. And then this spot is going to mean that I do not get any brow product. Over there, we have the Tarte Busy Gal Brow. And this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. But if it lands on this, I'm going to use the contour powders to fill in my brows. All right, please do not land on my brows. Great. So I get to only use a Frickin brow gel. Perfect. I actually really like this brow product, but I like it in conjunction with other things, you know? Okay, you know what guys? I'm cheating. I'm sorry. Some could call it cheating. Some could call it innovation. It's just all perspective, right? So I'm going to take my brow brush and I'm going to draw little hair-like strokes. Oh, everyone tells me that I give them anxiety when I hold my products upside down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really think about it. Okay, so for bronzer, we have the Physician's Formula Bronzer. We have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The Balm Betty Luminizer. And if y'all know what that is, you know it's literally the shimmeriest bronzer ever. So that would be terrible. We have the Milani Baked Bronzer. And then we have the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkist. Hopefully this is a matte bronzer and we can use this as a bronzer and a contour. I'm going to go in with a Morphe M527 and I'm going to bronze my face. I know I just gave myself like a complete bronzer helmet and I'm gonna diffuse that but for now I'm going to bronze my cheeks a little bit and just kind of sloppily laying the product down. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and whatever leftover powder is on it and just veil over those lines to make sure that there's no harshness. I just quickly contoured my nose off camera and next we are going to do a highlighter. Alright, so for highlighter we have the Artist Couture Highlighter in Summer Haze. We have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics collab with Manny MUA in the shade Eclipse. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood. We have the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo, but if it lands on this, I'm gonna use this shade that's way too dark for me. And then last but not least, we have the Gilded Champagne Jelly Highlighter from Too Faced as well. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter is the winner. Unfortunately, this highlighter is discontinued, but it is very well loved and very well smashed. I'm going to take an M501 brush and I'm going to highlight in all of the areas. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I'm also going to take this and load it up on my finger and I'm going to concentrate a little bit more right on the highest part of my cheekbone and I know it's gonna look so intensely crazy but once we put the blush over top it's gonna dull it down a little bit but it's gonna give like an extra little pop right on the highest point of your cheekbone so for blush we have MAC Cosmetics Margin we have this Tarte blush palette but I've decided if it lands on this one it's going to be this middle shade love we have the Milani baked blush in Rose to Oro and then we have the Chrissy Teigen palette from Becca and if it lands on this one, we're going to use this shade. And then we have the Urban Decay Blush in Fetish. Alright, let's spin. Alright, cool. So, Urban Decay Fetish is the winner. I'm going to take that on a Morphe holiday brush that doesn't have a name. And I'm going to apply this on my cheeks. 
And the way my face is set up, I like to keep the blush pretty far back. Before we do eyes, I'm gonna set this really quick because I want all these products to melt together, become one. So for eyeshadow, we have the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Looks like this. We have the Pure Festival Palette. The Natasha Denona Star Palette. The Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals Palette. And then the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. Okay, so for the eyes, my wine bottle picked the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Oh my god. What the heck is that? The freaking bug? There was a bug on my backdrop. How long was that there for? Please timestamp in the comments below how long that freaking bug has been on my backdrop. I literally synced it. My wine bottle picked the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I actually heard about this brand from Nikki Tutorials, and you can actually use code Nikki for some money off. This is what the palette looks like. In true Nikki Tutorials fashion, I'm actually going to play off of camera and come up with an eye look, and then I will be right back. Okay, we are back, and I have one eye all complete. So... I am first going to start off with the Nana shade and I'm dipping into that with a MAC 286 brush. Tapping off the excess, I'm going to start by running this into my crease. And when I'm doing this, I'm just going to start off by using circular motions. And once again, as you can see, my hand is very far back on that brush so I'm using very light pressure and I'm not being very particular about this I'm just laying the product down I'm going to bring it pretty far in and connect it to my contour and then once I'm happy with that I'm just gonna go out to the outer edge and scratch the edges next I'm gonna go into the Zakia shade and I'm going to take this on a MAC 217 brush and mine is small to pieces by dogs. Once again, tap off the excess and I'm going to pack this onto the outer corner of my eye. And then once it's packed on, I'm going to go back and forth very gently and blend it out. And as you can see, I kind of mix between patting motions and then scratching motions and then windshield wiper motions. There's a lot of motions, okay? Whatever you need to do to make sure that there's no harsh lines, just do it. I'm going to gently run between where those two colors meet and make sure there's no harsh edges. So next, I'm going to go in with <laughs> the shade Bruno and I'm going to load this up on a MAC 242 brush. I'm actually gonna spray this color with a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And just a side note, I know a lot of people will tell you to spray your brush and then go in with the product, but you don't wanna do that. You wanna go in with the product and then spray your brush. I'm going to take this and run it along my lid. And I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything. I'm just basically taking my brush and running it along my orbital bone and kind of like where my eyeball ends. If you do not have a deep set crease, you can create your own crease and then do exactly what I'm doing with this golden shade. Then with a M507, I'm gonna go back into that Nana shade, which is the lighter shade, and I'm going to run this pretty far down. You can do this very gently. I'm not telling you to directly poke into your eyeball, but you can kind of feel where your eyeball stops and my eyeball stops right here. So what I like to do is I like to gently, gently press up along that line. And that's how far I like to take my eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Zakia shade on the same exact brush. And I'm going to do the same exact thing, but keep it tighter along my lash line. All right, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go into the Eif shade and the Yejide shade, 
and I'm going to dip into the both of these with a M124 brush and I'm going to line my lower lash line. Typically I'd like to use like a flat definer brush but I cannot find mine. Not that you're like following this or anything but in case you are. Just be careful every time you go back in because obviously we did our base first and you just want to make sure that you're not getting any fallout. So just make sure that you're tapping off your brush and getting rid of the excess. I'm just gonna go back in with that M507 and I'm going to smoke this out a little bit. So I am happy with that and I did not spin the bottle for eyeliner or mascara because I just don't have five different eyeliners or mascaras. But I am going to take the Maybelline gel eyeliner and I'm going to run that into my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with that. And then I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and and coat my top and bottom lashes really quickly I'm going to go back in with the Baruno shade <laughs> and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and blend these two areas together like that all right so for lashes we have the flutter lashes and the style royalty we have the lily lashes in the style Ella the flutter lashes in the style serenity and then we have the lily lashes in the style Mykonos and then if it lands in this space right here then we don't get any lashes at all So the winner is the Flutter Lashes in the style Serenity. Obviously, I've already applied this one, but this is what they look like. I'm going to trim these and then apply them. My lash has dried. Is it just me or is my under eye completely purple now because of a blue fallout? Okay, lash going on. Last but not least is lips, and for lips we have Dose of Colors in the shade Sand. We have NARS lipstick in the shade Heat Wave. Kat Von D lipstick in the shade White Out. Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Mannequin, which y'all know is my favorite. And then we have Sugar Pill in the shade Obscura. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, my wine bottle really sabotaged me in the home stretch. What I am first going to do is I'm going to line my lips with a red lip liner, and this one is from Laura Mercier, and it is in the color Grenadine, and we are going to go in with NARS Heat Wave for our lipstick. Okay, if this is your first video, please just watch like any of my other videos, okay? Just any of them besides this one. Just, just go back in the playlist and just ignore this. I don't think there's any helping it. I don't think there's any helping it. You know what? You know what will help it? is the um, final look that my wine bottle picked for me. I have no words. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't do any of this. Just, just don't do anything that you saw in this video. The only thing that I'm recommending for you to do is to not forget to click the link in the description box to receive 50% off of your first six bottle box of wine from Bright Sellers. All you have to do is take the quick seven question quiz and then you too will be shipped six bottles of wine from all over the world, custom curated for your specific palette, guaranteed for you to like. I hope to God that you enjoyed this video because that makes one of us. I am going to wipe off this makeup look and forget this ever happened. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.